Today I have brought a very important topic on calendar that is the total number of odd days in the following years. To make the concept more clear, first let us understand what are odd days. Since we know that 7 days makes a week, so if we take a group of 7 days in a given period of time, suppose 1 year, 2 year, 3 year, the days which are left over after making a group of 7 days, those are called odd days. Now let us understand that in ordinary year, there is 365 days. Now 365 days can be written as 52 into 7, that is 364 plus 1. Since 1 is not making any group of 7 days, so odd number of days is here 1. In case of leap year, we know there is 366 days. So 52 weeks are there in a year. So if you multiply 52 by 7, we are left with 2 more extra days. So odd number of days in a leap year is 2. Now in case of 100 year, 100 year has got 76 ordinary year and 24 leap year. 76 ordinary year, it means 76 into this 1 or day plus 24 leap year. Now one leap year has got two odd days, so 24 into 2. We get 76 plus 48, it means 124 odd days. Now 124 if you divide by 7, we are getting remainder as 5. It means there is 5 odd days in 100 years. Now matter will become much more easier in case of 200 years. Since 100 years have got 5 odd days, it means 200 year will have 2 into 5, that is 10. Now 10 is divided by 7. We get 3 odd days. Now why 3? If you divide 10 by 7, we are left with 3 as remainder, so 3 is the odd days. You can also uh, think it in this way, 10, there are 10 days. 7 days making a group of a week so we are left with so we are left with only 3 days so 3 odd days now in case of 300 years it will be 3 into 5 that is 15 now when 15 is divided by 7 remainder is 1 so 1 odd day now we very careful while dealing with 400 years because 400 years is a leap year so 400 years here again i will multiply 4 into 5 now 400 is a leap year because 400 can be easily divided by 400. So there are 4 into 5 plus 1, 21 odd days. Now 21 when divided by 7, the remainder is 0. So 400 years have 0 odd days. Similarly, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000, all the years have 0 odd days. I hope you are able to understand the concept of odd days. And if you really like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give a like too. We'll meet you in the next class. Till then, goodbye.